वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द मिशिन ब्रेन टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग इन डेटा माइनिंग ओके ए प्री प्रोसेसिंग मीन्स विच इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट रॉ डेटा इंटू इंटू स्पेसिफाइड फॉर्मेट फॉर माइनिंग इंटू स्पेसिफाइड फॉर्मेट और अंडरस्टैंडेबल फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफाइड format or understood understandable format uh, uh, to do uh, data mining okay let us discuss it is the important step in data mining process right it uh, for doing any uh, for doing data mining process it is very important step first it involves uh, more steps okay the process of transforming raw data into an understandable format or to improve the quality of the data we use this data processing okay it is used to transform raw data into understandable format or improve the quality of the data or any specified format more efficient and specified format specified format to do data mining okay it involves some steps in data processing includes these includes data cleaning okay it's all in uh, contains more topics right in data cleaning also they contain some steps we'll discuss later and data integration data transformations data reduction data discretizations and also concept hierarchy generation these uh, discre data discretization concept hierarchy has also comes under data transformation so it means here data data discretization means here data discretization means raw values are converted into interval values okay so here transformation will be done and concept hierarchy generation means attributes are converted into low level to high level okay yeah data cleaning data integration data transformations and data reduction we'll discuss briefly about uh, this four and uh, these uh, these data mining process becomes more efficient and results become more accurate right this, by doing these uh, data mining process process it becomes more efficient and results become more accurate okay and We'll discuss the structure of how the structure of the data preprocessing. Okay, data cleaning first. The first is data cleaning. Okay, in data cleaning there are the process uh, two types are there: missing data and noisy data. Data cleaning means uh, removing of removing of the uh, data in data sets. Okay, any particular values in data sets. Okay, first missing data and second is noisy. data noisy data means any uh, error data which is not relevant data uh, missing data means in data sets some missing data will be found okay these are missing data it can be uh, cleaned by using ignore the tuple ignore the tuple we will ignore the uh, data in a tuple okay we will ignore the tuple in the data sets okay next fill the missing values filling the missing values we will fill the missing values by manually by manually and automatically manually by doing uh, by mean method by median or by most probability value okay next noisy data noisy data means which is not relevant data or error data anything or comes under noisy data it contains binning method regression clustering in binning method we will do first smoothing will be do by smoothing uh, smoothing by mean smoothing by medium splitting smoothing by bin well bin bo uh, boundary these are all the methods that it contains in binning method and regression we already know uh, uh, predict the numeric values uh, by using previous data and clustering Uh, similar data items are grouped or any clustering which is comes under clustering we'll discuss later briefly about the data cleaning data transformation data reduction okay next data transformations 
in data transformations there are four methods normalization attribute selection discretization concept hierarchy in data normalization it is to convert into specific range in order to scale in a specific range it, the data sets contains one two three only the numeric data will be in a we can convert into specific uh, order okay um, we cannot convert into in the data sets is in the form of uh, alphabets or uh, any words uh, apple ball but like we can only convert it into uh, if it is in numeric form only we can convert into specific range okay next attribute selections here attribute selections means uh, we can change the attribute into we can change the older attributes into new attributes okay we can convert older attributes to new attributes or new attributes are converted from older attributes converted from older attributes okay next discretization a discretization means discretization means raw data is converted into raw data is converted into um, a specific range or interval format specific interval format for example if the raw data contain 1 2 uh, 9 10 and 12 13 14 up to 20 this 1 to 10 we can write as 1 to 10 and uh, this 12 to 20 write as 12 to 20 we used to convert raw data into uh, interval format for uh, easy data processing okay therefore the redundancy will be also decreases next concept hierarchy generation in concept hierarchy generation um, uh, it is used to convert low level low attribute to high attribute for example city will be converted into country this city attribute converted into country attribute for example we have seen uh, data cube right here data cube in previous videos there we can visit from previous video uh, data cube cities for example turkey that are converted into a usa that like you can create a new cube for that you can you can watch the previous video okay next next data reduction in data reduction also there are four types four methods we will use data cube aggregation attribute subset selections numerosity reduction dimensionality reduction okay in data cube aggregation the raw the raw data will be converted into a data cube format you can store this raw data into a data cube okay next attribute subset selections here attribute sex, subset selections means um, highly relevant data we can use others are ignored other attributes are ignored or uh, discarded and we use highly relevant data which is used for processing only next numerosity reduction numerosity reduction in numerosity reduction mm, we will store a sample of data sample of data will store uh, for uh, future purposes for example if a class contains 60 of uh, record notebooks uh, we will use only 6 6 or 7 records for future for uh, future uh, reference purpose that that is the sample of data we will store a sample of data for future purpose next dimensionality reduction we will reduce in here we will reduce input variables okay input variables reduce because uh, large large input variables becomes uh, uh, poor performance right so that will will reduce input variables so that the performance will be high and uh, there is uh, one more process, uh, one more method also data integration in data integ integration there are two types loose loose coupling tight coupling okay 
in tight coupling uh, will combine the data into physical location okay for example a is one data sets and b is one data set we combine these data sets and into a physical uh, location it will not access again okay that is tight com uh, tight coupling combined into physical lo uh, location it's called tight coupling and we cannot access um, these uh, separate uh, data sets from combined form but various in loose coupling will create interface for will create interface for uh, data set and we can access uh, and we can combine these interface and the data sets uh, together so that we can access uh, data sets from this interface okay right okay from next video we will cover uh, these data cleaning each and every topic and uh, data transformation data reduction and data integration and also data discretization and the concept hierarchy generation as a separate video okay if you have any queries ask me in comment section please don't uh, forgot to subscribe thank you